Hey guys, this is Franklin. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about sweep and revolve commands. Okay, let's maximize this perspective view. Let's see about sweep command first. Using sweep command will help to create a surface with a certain cross sections. Let me show you. Let's create some profile for this. I'm gonna create a vertical rectangle. Like this. Now let's draw a simple cross section. Okay, this will be our cross section. Now type sweep 1 and first we need to select the rail. Then we need to select the sweep shapes, which is the cross section. Just select this and press enter. It will run the cross section all over the curve. Let's create another one. I'm gonna draw draw a random curve first. And then let's create a simple cross section here. This will be our cross section for now. Now type sweep 1 and first select the rail and then select the profile curve and press enter. And also you can use the sweep 2 command. The difference between sweep 1 and sweep 2 is in sweep 1 we can use only one rail curve but in the sweep 2 we can use two rail curves let me show you let's draw and uh, let's delete this and draw another rail i'm gonna copy this rail here i'm gonna change this a little bit now we have two rails I'm gonna draw a profile curve here. This is this is fine for now. Just type sweep two. Here we need to select two rails first, first rail, then second rail, and then we need to select the profile curve, which is sweep shapes. Select this and press enter. It will create a surface like this between the two curves. <laughs> In this command, we can use any kind of cross section into a surface in a certain curve. Please do explore by your own to understand better. Okay, let's see about revolve command revolve tool is basically used to create a surface by revolving profile curve in the axis let me show you let's draw a profile curve Okay, this will be my profile curve and just draw a line for the axis 
okay so here i have the profile curve and the axis direction now let's type revolve first we need to select the curve to revolve i'm gonna revolve this curve and press enter and choose the axis i'm gonna revolve this in z direction so choose this and for the start angle you can start from anywhere or else just press enter then you can see this like the profile curve is revolving around the axis you can type the specify angle here or else if you type 360 it will revolve 360 degrees which is a complete rotation and also we have another revolve tool which is rail revolve before that uh, let's draw another profile okay now this is my profile curve when we use the normal revolve just select the curve and select the revolve axis it will create like this it will revolve 360 degree like a circle in the base by using rail revolve we can give a path to revolve the curve profile curve for path i'm going to create a star this type polygon and select star i'm going to use six or five sides okay now i created a star like this and i'm going to fill it the corners by using fillet corners Select corners. Select the poly curve. Press enter. Give a value of uh, fillet corners. Select the poly curve, and the value will be point five. Not. Two will be fine and press enter now i created a path i want to run the profile curve in this star let's move the star like this okay now type rail revolve rail revolve select the profile curve then select the rail curve rail curve is the path then give the revolve axis it will create like this it's the same profile curve by using rail revolve it will be created like this but in the sorry in the revolve it will be created like this but in the rail, re rail revolve we can give a certain path you can give whatever shape you want to give So okay that's it for today guys I'll see you on the next video